Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a Master Magnum M1. I already have this one here taken apart and gutted in front of us, but first, to make sure that we're doing a lockpicking video, let's pick one open real quick. And uh, just to be honest, I'm going to just use a, a rake because it is a master lock and honestly we just don't need to spend that much time on it. So behind us. So we have our Master M1 right here. Here's our fully assembled one. And over here to the right is our disassembled one. First off, let's note that there are nothing but standard pins in it. Four pins like usual. Um, same exact uh, body. There we go. Same exact body as the uh, Master Lock number ones, the uh, normal and commercial one, uh, except for different material. This might just be a coating. Uh, it looks like it's most likely not a coating though, so different material. Similar, it looks like the same exact type of, type of plug still, so same type of plug handed down uh, generations. Again, we see our standard pins, and for the padlock itself, just a little bit here. Here's how it, come up, how it comes apart. So on the bottom here, this part goes over the top right here. And usually there's a cover that goes over the top right here that has the uh, model on it right there. But because these, these rivets, these uh, little rivets here are so embedded down in that internal uh, shell right there to pull off, I pretty much had to grind that whole part away, so I do not have that part. So this is actually from the top part here. You can see how it's up here, but not over here. So that's what this piece is right here. So there's a top piece like this and a bottom piece. And then this part comes off right here, and that's what allows us to remove our, 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 uh, our core. And then down inside here, it is a little bit of a different, um, over here in the light, a little bit of a different actuator. And actually, I'm gonna get a little light too. It's still hard to get that in there. There we go. So you can see up here that there is a, you can barely see it right there. There we go. You can see that, oh, you fucker, you were just, there we go, that wire right there. So that, we will actually take this part off. That's our little spring for our actuator. Let's see if we can get this off. There is a couple pieces to the actuator. It's kind of funky. There we go. Okay, so there's our spring. I'll pull that up right here. Here's our actuator spring. And the way it works is it goes down it hooks into the side, the bottom of the actuator with this part, and this part hangs over the top of it inside here. So down in the bottom right hand corner, that's where that goes. There we go. And you can see how it rests on the top right there. And then our um, actuator piece that works with our tail piece is right here. And that'll fit right there. It needs to go just a little bit to the side has a little hole to fit over. There we go. Has a little hole right there to fit over our spring so it lines up perfectly. And so when it turns, you see now that, oops, sorry, that it's hard to focus there. That piece turns, damn, the actuator there. So you can see how that all turns. And there we go. There's our shackle open now. So if we close it, if we turn it back now, Oh, we gotta get our shackle lined up with the ball bearings first. There we go. And there we go, now it's closed. And so our, the back of our plug right here, the tail piece, you can see fits right there like that. And that's how it'll turn. And so how the body is assembled now, I did already mention that this is the top piece, there was a bottom piece like this, but we had to grind it away. So after the bottom piece came off, uh, we took this plastic part off and found out that this is a shell. So this outer, outer part that you see here isn't even the laminated part. So that is a shell that just flat out comes off. 
and then there were pins that went down these sides right here and I took those out and these sides right here I took those out and at first I thought okay maybe it's a Fox laminated padlock and it's just a uh, it's not really laminated, and it is. Um, I'm just not going to take it fully apart because it's kind of a pain in the ass. You can see um, there are a couple pins, or four pins, right there. And you can see that I did try to hammer them in, and they did not budge. So that's just not worth me taking fully apart because um, you can see right, you can see right here all the way down. These are all the same exact shape, besides probably the very last piece or two. So it's really not not worth the extra effort here. Um, you can see though that it is laminated because I took a hammer and I took a flathead screwdriver and I stuck it between these and it hit it really hard because sometimes I'll make them separate a little bit and it did. So you can see that this is not one whole piece and it is actually, where's the bright setting? It is actually laminated and if I get that to focus, you can see one of the rods kind of shining right there, and the other one a little shiny right there. But yeah, so it is actually laminated. But yeah, this one was fun to take apart. It was very interesting, and I was really surprised that when I took it apart that um, this was basically just a shell on it, and it's covered in a shell, so it's... Um, uh, very nicely protected compared to the other laminated padlocks. Alright everyone, hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.